Jack O'Connor, I mean, this is economic lunacy. This is uh, going back to a period in history which is past, it's over. 2008 is like the Battle of the Boyne. Well, I'd say that uh, there is a degree of economic lunacy uh, at play in, in Ireland today, and it's reflected in the policy which the government has been pursuing, which uh, is making matters worse rather than better. And uh, I, I noticed in your introduction there that, if you, if you don't mind my correcting you, Pat, sure. that there was an error in the way you introduced things, uh, because you, you, you suggested that we are asking people to uh, march next Friday against public service pay cuts and cuts in welfare. We're actually uh, urging people to march uh, against that government policy, which uh, it wouldn't have been my word, my, 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 my term, but, I would, uh, but economic lunacy is as good as any other, which is making uh, but thing, it, things it, it much, would, much worse. Wouldn't it be in support and, of the 10-point plan? And, and we're asking people uh, to march uh, in support of a better, fairer way. But that is your 10-point plan, which you published in its final form today, yes. and which involves no cuts in, in uh, wages and involves no cuts in social welfare, which seems to me to be government policy. So I don't think you can pick me up and say that I'm misrepresenting the facts. You're asking people to protest against the announced No, but you see, the, 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 the way it reads uh, is that uh, uh, we're talking about uh, one sector of the, of the population. Uh, we're talking about the entire population. Uh, we're not ta just talking about the people who either work in the public service or, or are uh, dependent on, on public services. We're talking about approaching uh, the, the, the issues confronting our economy uh, in an entirely different way. Okay. Which, 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 sorry, no, just, sorry, which, which, which envisages, and this is the key, an agreement to which all sectors of society oh, and can And I was contribute. coming to that because we want, to, for people who may not have caught the news earlier, to give them a sense of what uh, your, your plan <laughs> is about. Uh, this is a better, fairer way. And so we're going to have a look at some of uh, the elements of what you're proposing. You say we reduce our borrowing over eight years uh, rather than four. In other words, uh, no need for that very harsh four billion worth of cuts uh, this year. The proposals also offer wage moderation as long as there are no cuts in wages, no cuts in public services or in social welfare. And uh, finally, to pay for this, a higher income tax rate for high earners, a doubling of capital gains tax and a property tax. Okay, they are some of the proposals. Now, there are other ideas as well. Those are the biggest ideas. Other ideas, for example, like a national recovery bond. The idea of that would be to fund vital infrastructure projects. It's a sort of a bond for the patriotic and the Irish diaspora. That's how it's described in the document. There's a proposal for a one billion state fund for job creation, for job protection and training, and a three-year stay of execution for people in mortgage difficulties. All of these uh, sound like very, very uh, good ideas. Yes, I would argue that they, that they are uh, good ideas and I would argue that they are feasible and uh, uh, I would argue that they are doable and apart from the benefit which would accrue to the uh, people directly affected, uh, they, they would also contribute enormously to uh, the res restoration of stability and rebuilding confidence in the economy okay. because people who are fearful that they're about to lose their job or about to lose their home or about to lose their, their, their pension in the private sector are not going to be spending money and what's happening in our economy is that savings uh, is appreciated rapidly uh, while, while, uh, while spending is diminishing. Okay, so, so let's take it. If it's not four billion, what do you think it should be with the eight-year eight uh, reduction of our uh, borrowing? Well, well I, think that, uh, I think that we should be able to, uh, to, to, to think in terms of a lower figure. What, uh, what figure is that? I, I don't have a specific figure. Because why not? You, because this you, is a plan, because, a 10-point plan. Because you'll ask me then, why is it not uh, a penny lower or a penny higher well, than that? No, I'm just wondering what, the, what your plan is. Or is, it, is this a negotiation and you don't show your hand no, yet no, to no, the no, minister? No, no, no. It, it's, it's, it's not that there's a specific figure that everyone in the Congress of Trade Unions agrees on. Uh, it's that we envisage... Uh, the, the, the adjustment being scheduled over a longer period. Now you realise that that will uh, result in more borrowing and therefore more interest repayments uh, 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 over the uh, eight-year uh, period. Uh, uh, it has to. Perhaps, perhaps and perhaps not. Because uh, one of the things that, that all of us uh, uh, will probably agree on, uh, to concentrate on that for a minute, uh, is that uh, you cannot tax your way out of this. You cannot cut your way out of this. Uh, we ultimately have to grow our way out of this. Because if you look at the figures which are about to come out, they were expected, they were expected today. But hang on, if the government needs to cut four billion, and you're saying, no, maybe it's two billion they have to cut, that two billion uh, that they need 
has got to be found somewhere else, which means it's got to be borrowed. Now, whether you pay it back through growth or pay it back some other way, it's got to be paid back. Yes, so it, it will amount but, to but, an but increase I'm not, I'm not so in sure, national I'm not debt. So sure, I'm not so sure that the government need, needs to cut four billion, and I'm not so sure that the government uh, envisaged that, okay. that, that, because when the Minister for Finance spoke uh, in April when he was delivering his budget, he envisaged a four billion euro adjustment. Now that's been uh, moved to a four billion euro cut, which means that working people and the people who depend on public services uh, will bear the entire burden of the all adjustment. Right. Can, can I just whilst, clarify whilst something else? With you. People contribute nothing and at all. Wage moderation is one of the points that you make. Now, does that mean no increases for uh, the workers, or does it mean that the 2008 agreement should be honoured, as it has been honoured in some quarters? What, what are you looking for? No, there? Well, it, it means that our, our aspiration is to achieve a renegotiation of that agreement. Uh, but does that mean more pay for some people? Because if it does, it yes, means more it would, money it, has it, got to be found. Yes, it would mean more, people, uh, more pay for some people. Uh, where, Will it mean where, cuts for anybody? Where it can be shown that uh, the, the, uh, the employments in which they work are capable of, of, of coping with that. Well, that would in, rule out, wouldn't it, the public sector getting any increases? Because it, clearly the government can't it, afford. Well, you asked me an earlier question for a second, just to be clear on it. Uh, the, the, the approach that we have taken uh, throughout the economy in relation to the question of cuts is that uh, what, uh, we do not uh, obviously support it because apart from the effect on the people concerned it will uh, undermine spending power in the economy in which consumption accounts for nearly 60 percent of GDP. All right, so but, you're saying no but, cuts no, in no, pay? No, 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 so, so just allow me to finish. Uh, uh, the, 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 the strategy we have adopted is that we do recognise that there are circumstances where it can be shown that uh, 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 there is no alternative other than job losses and, and, and that by taking cuts we would save the jobs which would otherwise be lost. Are you referring and, only to the, pub, the private sector and in, in this those, regard? And in, in those circumstances we have had to go to members and recommend okay. that they but go along the with... that's the private sector. Yes. What about the government? The government clearly can't afford to pay the bill at the moment. It's borrowing 400 million a week. So will you accept that line from the government as well? If they say, listen, guys, we cannot pay this bill. We're going to have to have cuts. Well, if you're asking me if we can negotiate an agreement, uh, which is a fair agreement, which en envisages a contribution from people on the basis of their ability to pay, which would entail a contribution from wealthy people in our society as well, uh, I, I think we could reach an agreement in relation to pay, which the government would be uh, uh, reasonably... Uh, 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 Able to pay, afford to pay. No, I'm not talking about that. I said, listen to what I'm saying. I'm waiting please. for it. Uh, what I'm saying is that we would be able to reach an agreement in relation to pay which the government could live with. What does that mean? Does that mean that you on the union side would be prepared to see some of your members in the public sector take cuts? No, we will not be you accepting... Will not take we, will okay. not, we will not be accepting pay cuts. We've oh. already right. so, taken... So what you're saying sorry, is that sorry, other no. people... Now, hang on a second. No, you're no, no, saying no, no, the accommodation... No, sorry, no, sorry. I just want to clarify this. The accommodation that you can live with, it means that the government has to uh, tax other people in order to maintain the public sector pay bill at the moment. That's, that's your position. No, no, now, I'm not saying who should be taxed. No, 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 no it's not. Where actually. do you get the money no, otherwise? No, no, it's not, actually, if, 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 if what I'm saying. Because uh, what we have said quite clearly is that we recognise that in the circumstances of a fair agreement... Uh, there would have to be uh, a contribution from our side as well. But we are not but it going, be in pay. But we are not going to shoulder the entire burden. But Working would it be in pay? This, I've asked this question, this is the third time now. Will there be any circumstances in which, in the public sector, you will tolerate pay cuts from this government? The, 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 do you mean cuts in the pay bill or cuts on people's cuts pay? In, cuts in the pay bill, because that can only mean one thing. It can either mean people lose allowances or people lose their jobs. Or people take a pay cut. No, Take no, your pick. It's, it's no, either of those no, three. Not necessarily. The, the, there's a negotiation on the way at the present time, uh, which is about... This is basic sums, Jack. This is not complicated. No, if you're no, to no, reduce the public no. pay bill, it either has to come out of people's overtime, people's allowances, people's basic pay, or some people have got to leave the well, service. Well, uh, you, you can achieve reductions on what scale we don't know yet uh, in the actual pay bill without cutting people's pay. <laughs> Pardon me for being flabbergasted by that statement, but Mo Mo McDowell, you're an economist. Perhaps you can parse that for me. I'm afraid I couldn't, Pat. It's as simple as that. You're